up everyone and welcome back to another video where I share some of my career insights in the health and fitness industry. This is episode 2, what it's really like working with high-end clients. If you're already subscribed, you would know I'm based in Saudi Arabia. I work as a personal trainer with private clients. And if you're not subscribed, what's going on man? What you playing at? So in this video, I'm going to share five points I think are important lessons I've learned working with VVIPs over the years. So the first point is to respect your client's privacy. I think this goes without saying, and this doesn't just apply to VVIPs, this applies to all your clients across the board. When you build relationship with your clients over time, they share certain things to you in confidence and it's your professional integrity and responsibility to keep certain things private. Number two, nothing goes unnoticed and this is with regard to how you conduct yourself. You have to assume that there are eyes and ears everywhere at all times. Trust is everything. You may not be the best personal trainer in the world but if you are someone who is trustworthy you're gonna become invaluable to your client and he or she won't let you go. I've heard stories of people who try to take advantage of wealthy people and high profile clients. It's almost as if they think, oh, this person has so much money, they're not gonna notice. On the contrary, I think rich people stay rich because they're very wise with their money. They don't just splash anyhow. An example one time of how I gained my client's trust, one of my clients overpaid me and gave me an extra 500 pounds which isn't pocket change by any means for us regular people and I mean I could have said nothing but I thought it was only right to mention it which I did and obviously my client just said you know keep it it's all good but even something like that I don't know if that was on purpose whether it was a test or it was just an accident I don't know but the fact that I said something I believe is what helped build the trust between me and one of my clients. Number three, no one likes bakery. So this just means being yourself. If you were chose to work with certain high end clients, you're probably chosen because you were yourself. And so it's important to stay true to yourself in that sense and not try and pretend to be something you're not. You might one day find yourself on a private jet and start thinking, do I need to act a certain way now? Do I need to dress a certain way? You know, these are some of the thoughts I've had in my head. And I remember the first time I flew private, I was just amazed at how luxurious the toilets were. Like, the flush was a button. And I'm like, <laughs> don't sell yourself short. So it's important to believe in yourself and what you know. If there are certain things to be said, they need to be said. What I mean by this is high-end clients are often the highest point of authority in their circle or in their life, but you as a personal trainer who is responsible for their health and wellness is also a point of authority and sometimes things need to be said. It's just a matter of how you communicate it across so that your point is listened to and you're not just walked over in a way. VVIPs are so used to having people around them say yes to them all the time. If you know how to communicate certain points across in a, in a good way where maybe you don't agree with them or you think some changes need to be made, for example, if you do it in a professional way, I think that would be highly appreciated actually. And number five, when is a good time to work with high-end clients? If you are working with someone full-time, you have to take into account that your life is in a way based upon their schedule. You don't have the freedom to move about where and when as you like. From my experience, I've traveled a lot. I would suggest when you are actually single and not married with kids and a house because when you're settled, it's, it's not so easy. It can be done, but it's not so easy working full time with certain high end clients. If you'd like to know a bit more about how I started on this PT journey, be sure to check out episode one if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. That is all I've got to say for now on this topic. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, do comment below and I'll see you in the next episode.